NYPD is leveraging almost every resource possible to contain the crowds and investigate the people perpetrating violence. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner got an exclusive look inside the department's Joint Operations Center. You can see up in the corner where they're walking up Fifth Avenue. The NYPD's aviation unit and cameras all over the city are the eyes and ears for officers interacting with protesters on the ground. All five boroughs are monitored 24 7 inside the NYPD's Joint Operations Task Force. Deputy Chief Ed Mullane gave us an exclusive look. The Barclay Center is over your shoulder there. We have almost a thousand people standing there, and we're in Midtown Manhattan with another protest. Inside the NYPD's Joint Operations Center, dozens of police are watching the city from different vantage points and making calls to officers on the ground. If we need to move resources, light towers, additional cars, prisoner vans, we do that from here. And we can liaison with outside agencies. Corrections helps us with prisoner transport, the TBTA, the Port Authority, the calls, the Holland Tunnel, the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel, if necessary. We listen to the protests on the radio. We listen, listen to the police commanders on the radio, which, which know, we know which way the crowds go, how to move those resources from point A to point B, uh, naturally by phone. Sunday morning, the mayor said the protests got violent because of a small number of people. It is well organized. Even though many of the people associate with the anarchist movement, and we often think of that as not uh, an example of organization and hierarchy. By phone, CBS 2's Marsha Kramer asked NYPD Deputy Commissioner of Intelligence and Counterterrorism John Miller if there was a tie to Antifa. As far as Antifa goes, uh, we've seen a number of anarchist groups involved in this, and uh, one of the challenges we have is that these are loosely put together groups that have become very good at using encrypted uh, communications. He said one out of seven arrests were not from New York City. The agency is also looking into whether people are being paid to be involved. In the meantime, in an effort to prevent further escalation, the NYPD says its best assets are its motorized scooters and bicycle fleet, which Mullane says can get in front of a crowd quickly. At One Police Plaza, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.